Hello everyone and today I am going to share with you my interview experience for the post of junior research fellow in DRDO and this interview has been conducted by DRDO Pune lab okay so let's start so first of all let me talk about eligibility criteria so there are two criteria you have to follow either one okay so first is if you have a bachelor's degree in a respective engineering field then you must have distinction at least and you have to qualify gate exam and a valid gate scorecard and uh, the second eligibility criteria that means if you do not have a uh, gate scorecard but uh, you have done masters so in bachelors and masters you both have in that both bachelors as well as master you have distinction in both okay so this is the eligibility criteria and based on that they will uh, shortlist you and uh, they will uh, told tell you to fill the detail application form okay so from that so my interview started from detailed application form they have asked about my graduation from where i completed my graduation and in which year okay my college name and uh, it is affiliated with which university and all that thing then i have done my job so after graduation so they have asked about my job experience in brief though like what what was my job profile what was the reason for leaving my job and what is my roles and responsibility in in my job next uh, after the job uh, to till date that means the interview date uh, what i have done in terms of knowledge updatation if you that means if you are preparing for any competitive exam so that is not a, a knowledge updatation because uh, you are preparing for whatever whatever you are studying in btech and just you are preparing in focused manner okay so i have completed some nptl courses as well as six sigma certification so i told them that uh, i have completed this much certificate courses okay so that is the point next uh, they have asked about final year project in detail that means i have to told uh, from project title to what the steps uh, we have from starting to end what the steps that we have taken uh, to complete that project okay so that was uh, uh, the final year project part and uh, this interview whole interview is uh, around uh, is this interview was around 45 minutes okay so after this uh, they have shifted from to technical section so first question that was asked to me that is difference between bolt and screw okay what is the difference in bolt and screw and uh, how their operation works next uh, the various stresses acting on nut bolt and screw while in operation okay and then next question is the different types of threads in used in screws and bolts and their angles and their application as well they have asked about uh, me that uh, uh, which type of threads are in, used in lead screw of lathe machine okay so that we also come into your mind then vcr cycle components in detail like uh, compressor so which kind of compressor condenser so which kind of compressor which type of compressor evaporator what their function expansion valve then how many types of expansion valves are there okay next is they have given the comp they have they have given me what is the comparison of refrigerator and air conditioner that means i have to tell what what uh, makes difference between refrigerator and air conditioner okay so that i have told them the the parameters uh, by which the air conditioner is differed from refrigerator and uh, from cop point of view they have also asked that what is the difference in cop next about comfort condition so they have asked about what is the comfort condition a human feel and what are the factors that affect the comfort condition and whether it is same in winter and summer or uh, they it is different so i have told them it is different from person to person of different age group different clothing for different activity and for different se season like winter we have some lower comfort condition and for summer we require competitively higher comfort condition and from then after they have shifted to different terminologies of psychrometer like what is dry bulb what is wet bulb what is relative humidity uh, how we can measure it and uh, what is the pressure variation from dry bulb temperature to wet bulb to dew point temperature okay then combined conduction and convection effect one question that has been they have asked like uh, uh, if the plate is moving with some thickness and the air is flowing so what kind of uh, what is that there are what are the modes of heat transfer okay then different methods they have shifted to production 
and different methods of producing gears and threads so i have told them what are the different different manufacturing processes and then after they have given me one uh, question that uh, if i want to uh, make a 40 mm pcd gear okay so which method uh, i want to choose for minimum cost so i have told them okay then next question is about single point cutting tool their terminology how it works why it is called single point cutting tool and what is orthogonal and oblique cutting and about tool signature like what are the tool tool signature system that is asa ors and what is the difference between in two and uh, what are the angles are there how it is associated in tool signature and what their significance like a rack angle relief angle for the uh, clearance or surface finish okay then they have shifted to types of condenser and applications like what are the water cool condenser air cool condenser the plate type fins type and what are their applications micro channel heat exchangers okay next the they have asked about types of tools used for different material that means uh, this question was asked earlier than condenser question asked but uh, uh, let me tell you what they have exactly asked so they have asked when i was giving the answer of rag angle what is the importance of rag angle so and then they have asked uh, uh, what is the general uh, range of rag angle so i have told them 5 to 15 degree or sometimes we are going to positive 30 degree so they asked me for it is used for which kind of material like the tile or metal uh, can we use zero degree rack angle then uh, they have asked me about why we are using a negative rack angle if, and uh, for which material is using like for example i have given that yes sir we are using negative uh, rack angle for machining a brittle material then they have asked why because brittle material requires more power consumption and ultimately leads to more force so if the uh, the tool cross section area behind the tool nose okay so it will affect uh, it will give the more strength if the area behind the uh, nose radius is very less than then stresses will be higher in tool so this is the reason for why we are using negative rack angle then uh, i have done about certification course on six sigma so they have asked about what is six sigma uh, why it is start when it is started and who who started which company and why it is necessary in current manufacturing scenario okay and what are its application and where we cannot use it so they have asked about in detail then what is jit that means just in time and limitations like uh, in actual practice what are the limitations and what are the challenges to implement just in time okay next kaizen what is kaizen and uh, what about because of, they have asked about kaizen because in my job i have uh, won three kaizen awards so they have asked about what is kaizen and what you did as a kaizen to improve the process parameter next about 5s what is 5s and how it is helpful in any organization in any manufacturing sector okay so this is about technical and one last question they ask about that to, to me that what do you know about drdo pune lab so i told them what they work from different different materials i found so i have told them that i know this much and after that they told us some thanking words and my interview was finished so this is about how the interview was of my junior research fellow and uh, hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it will give some reference to your upcoming uh, grf post interviews okay i hope you get some basic idea how they are asking for your upcoming grf post and one more thing i forgot to tell you about uh, what are the panel members okay so there are seven to eight panel members are there okay and uh, uh, the interview mode is online okay so hope you enjoy this video and it give you some about knowledge about interview experience okay and if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe for upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.